Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the jagged or the ragged arrays. What a jagged or a ragged array is, it's an array where each row does not have the same number of elements, unlike a regular two-dimensional array where each row has this exact same number of elements. What you do different when you are creating a jagged or ragged array is, first of all, instead of combining into a single square brackets with a comma in between, which is you commonly do that for a regular two-dimensional array, now you create two separate square brackets to show that these are two separate arrays. I mean, like two separate levels means that the entire array is not in one uniformity. So that's why you create two separate square brackets in C-sharp. Then what else do you do that in every line where you have varying number of elements per row, what you do is, for example, in the first row, I want to have three elements. In the second row, I want to have two elements. In the third row, I want to have four elements. But in the fourth row, I want to have three elements. In the last row, I want to have five elements. As you can see that some rows may have the same number of elements as the other, uh, but not all rows are in any kind of symmetry. Therefore, each line needs to have its own new followed by a single dimension of a data type. And that's exactly how you will instead instantiate or declare each line of the ragged or the jagged array. Now I have another parallel array to go with is which is the bunch of names so because each one of these rows represent a name of a person. I can use a built-in get length function to traverse through the number of rows. I could also write row less than five or less than equals to four but then this is another way of going through the process. So this will allow me to go through the value 0 through 4. Now when I am inside uh, the inner loop, uh, the outer loop, I can then display the name of the student, which in my case is Jason. Okay, It is very similar to my last example that I shared with you with a multidimensional array. If you haven't watched that, you can go ahead and watch that, that one as well. And now in my inner loop, what I'm doing here is that in my inner loop, I'm running my loop to go from 0 to the length of the items in a row because each row carry different number of items therefore it goes from zero to the length of that particular row so every time the loop runs what it does it goes starts with zero and it keeps looping till I reach the end of the number of items in that row and every time the loop runs I display the score number and then I display the actual score of that particular row. So as I am running this program you will see that for the first row I will be displaying the three scores which is 30, 60, and 100. For the second row, I only display two scores. For the third row, I display four scores. For the fourth row, I display three scores. And for the last row, I display five scores. So since I'm going by the length of each row, therefore, it will automatically stop and go back and fetch the next row when the current row runs out of values. So anyway, this is how you go about working with the jagged or ragged array in C Sharp. Can in the next tutorial uh, when we start to explore uh, some other built-in functions as to how you can binary search an array or how you can sort an array or how you can reverse an array in C sharp and we probably will then going to move on to modularization examples so anyway I'll catch you in the next tutorial till then take care guys bye bye